Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's gonna be making junkyard salad for y'all today. And it might not sound the best, but it sounds <laughs> cool at least. And here's all yeah. the ingredients, it's everything that you need. It's gonna be sweet, sweet. Yeah, and I'll let her explain it all to you and walk you through it step by step. Let me make sure this is... Yeah, I'll just open it. Uh, oh, did you? I think I was checking that cause uh, Corey's mom loves sweet stuff. She'll come down here and get some peanut butter and get that and eat it. She said that's the best stuff in the world. <laughs> Uh, if you make uh, peanut butter in a bowl and you put a bunch of this in there with it and you mix it all up, it makes a, it's like a peanut butter whip topping. Yeah. And it's really good. Yeah. Some people put it on cakes and stuff. Yeah. But we're going to get started here. Our junkyard salad. What it calls for is um, our uh, one can of cherry pie filling. Let me turn around here. One can of cherry pie filling. We're it was right a minute it. ago until you turned it now to oh. shine the label. <laughs> oh, I got it now? <laughs> yeah. This is... How many it, ounces? It says more fruit, so it's 21 ounces of cherry pie filling, more fruit. Yeah, that's what it calls for. So there's more cherries in this. Let's see. And then... It says, um, combine the cherry pie filling and the drained. It calls for crushed, but I like the chunk pineapples myself. Yeah. So that's what we're going to use. And you're, it's already drained. Yeah, we done drained it. So we're putting this in here. It's not the big can. I think it said four ounces, or, yeah. or it's one pound and four ounces. Yeah, that's what it said. Calls for 20 ounce can of crushed pineapples, but I use, like I told you, I use the uh, chunked. And then it says, then you put in the condensed milk, and the condensed milk is one 14 ounce can, and that's what this is 14 ounce. And somebody sent this to me. That's just condensed milk. And you put it in there and stir it all up. This is a fast and easy recipe, too. You can make yeah. it in just a couple minutes. Yeah, but see, I talk and everything through it, too. Yeah. But if you was in a hurry and you were trying to make something real quick for a guest that was coming over, yeah. you could just throw this together real quick. Yep, you sure can. Look how good it already looks. And then it says, um, then we put miniature marsh marshmallows in it. And I don't like marshmallows that well, so I might put a handful in it. I say that's enough, don't you? <laughs> I'm not a marshmallow person, y'all. Me either. I don't really like cherries or marshmallows. I like cherries, but I just don't like marshmallows. I, I like them when you take them outside and burn them, you know, or when you make them uh, Hershey, Hershey and Graham Smores. crackers. The s'mores with them. Now I like that. Okay, now after we get this mixed up, we put in our dry vanilla instant pudding. And this is sugar free because I don't have no other kind. So I like the other kind, but this was Papa's here. He likes sugar free. It's all for a one ounce pack. I'm not sure if, a, yeah. if I was already yeah, said or not. Ounce. It calls for one ounce here. So we put that in there. You put it in there dry. And then we stir that real good in there. This is vanilla pudding. So. It's turning purple. Yep. Violet, you're turning violet. <laughs> if y'all know uh, what movie I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. If y'all know the movie or the reference. So, and then what we add is the Cool Whip. And that is all you do. See how simple? Cool Whip, eight ounces of Cool Whip. Here's some marshmallows, they're great value, but you can use uh, whatever type you like. Yeah. There are many marshmallows. So you put this in here, and then you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator overnight. 
so it's simple. Or just the air so it's according if you know if you got company coming, just put it in there and get it cold. Air. It says fold it in. So we're folding it in. So and I tell you in the summertime, these gnats love uh fruit, apples. Pear, you get anything set out, here they come. Yeah, you open a can of fruit and they'll come from a mile <laughs> yeah, away. They do. You don't see none until you open up a can of fruit. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you just keep folding this in until it gets mixed up real good. And that's all there is to it. And we just put it in the refrigerator when it gets cold. See, there's the cherries in it. And the pineapples. It don't look bad, but I think it looked a lot cooler before it had the whipped topping in there. It was purple. Yep. And it looked cooler. Well, we could put some uh, uh, food coloring in it. Yeah. <laughs> Make it look pretty. Yeah, uh, yeah for Christmas, that's what you could do too. Or for um, St. Patrick's, you put green. Or for Easter, you could put yellow or blue. You know. Yeah, Food color just, you want to. Yeah, just put a drop in it and that make it look pretty. So. Okay, that's it. So junkyard salad. This, yep, junkyard salad. Don't sound good, does it? But it looks good and it smells good. I'll take a little taste before we put it in the refrigerator. Right Yeah, you gotta double check. Somebody's gotta test it. <laughs> yeah. Make sure it's not poisonous. Let me see. I don't see no. There it is. I was looking for a a pineapple. It is good. Tastes better after it's cold. But yeah. And I like pineapples anyway. Our junkyard salad. Then uh -oh. I'll read y'all some. Now Saturday, we're really going to have a big recipe. Because uh, our friends that preach with us, uh, Sandy and Richard, they're coming up. And they had invented a, a recipe with spaghetti and peppers. So you have to tune in for that. It is. And it is delicious. That's what they bring me for my birthday. When I have a birthday, they know I love that stuff, so they bring it to me. That's my birthday present from them. So, right now we're going to be reading in Colossians. Talking about Paul's work for the church. You know, you are supposed to work in the church. You don't just get saved and just sit down. You know, you you always have a work. You work in your church. Uh, if God calls you to do something, go visit the sick, go to do the jail ministry uh, like um, Milton does, then that's, that's what you do. Now, years ago, I had uh, young people's crusades. Crusaders is what they was called. And I had the teenagers, and we all, every week we had, um, we met every week. We had Bible study, and we done Bible games and stuff. And then in the summertime, we would go uh, on a trip. We'd go to uh, uh, Six Flags or um, Tennessee, different places we'd go. And we'd uh, always uh, go to a fun park. But then before we come home, we would always go to uh, something about um, uh, God, uh, about Jesus. You know, we went to uh, Tennessee and they had that... Um, Holy Land Experience. Holy that Land was, Experience. That was in Florida, though, I think. That was in Florida. Yeah. What was in Tennessee? Dollywood? I think so. Dollywood. And the Dixie Stampede. And the Dixie Stampede. And they had the, the Mount on the Sermon there or that Jesus died. We went and seen that. It was in a play in a big field in a big mountain. It was something else. But they, we always took them to something else. But anyway, uh, we're going to be reading in uh, First Colossians, the first chapter. And uh, 21st verse, it says, And ye that were sometimes alienated 
and enemies in your mind by wicked works. Yet now hath he recounseled them in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known that what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory from we, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Yeah, we have a work to do when God calls us, you know, into the family of God. We all have a work to do. It might be a prayer warrior. Uh, uh, it might even be a janitor in the church. You know, uh, there's all kinds of jobs that God gives us to do. A prayer warrior, a, a minister, a deacon, um, just uh, a bit, go visit people in the a hospital, visit the sick, go visit the elderly. You know, there's a lot of things. Um, uh, go visit the homeless. You know, when we was doing the Crusaders uh, for Christ, teenagers, we always went to the homeless shelters. And uh, every week we would, or was it every week or every month? Uh, I think it was like once a month. I think it was once a month we went to like the homeless shelter and um, the women's uh, center, uh, crisis center. We'd go there you know, different places we would go and take the teenager different churches and we would minister to the ones there. But anyway, in my commentary, it says, before we believed, we were alienated from God, strangers to his way of thinking and enemies of sin twisted our way of thinking about God. Simple thinking leads to alienation. I think that's how you say it. Alienation. Yeah, from God which further darkens and destroys our thoughts about him. When we were out of harmony with God, our nature condition was to be hostile to his standards. Um, and it says the way to be free from sin is to trust Jesus Christ to take it away. We must stand firmly in the truth of the gospel and never let go of our confidence in Jesus to forgive our sins, to make us right with God and to empower us to live the way he desires them. When a judge in a court of law declares the, a defendant not guilty, that person is acquitted of all the charges and accusations. The law treats the person as though he or she was never accused. When God forgives your sins, he wipes your record clean. He looks at you as though you have never sinned, no matter what you have done or what you have been like. God offers forgiveness to you. He offers forgiveness to all. Whoever uh, says that they want to repent and give their heart to God, their slate is clean. Whatever they done, it is clean, like uh, Brother Jerry says, our pastor. He says his, he wipes it clean. You know, your slate is clean. And it's like if you get a red um, piece of clear paper, red paper, and you put it in the Bible, you know, we're... We're as white as snow when he comes in. Let me find some of his. You see the red writing here? If you get the perfect kind of uh, uh, red, you put it on there, and that red is white. Jesus' blood washes us white as snow. You know, God is so loving and so good to us. He loved us so much that he died on the cross for us, you know. So we need to, uh, when he calls us, to be faithful to him just like he is faithful to us. Amen. So, and now I'm going to pray for y'all. We always pray one for another, you know. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you, Lord, loving you and thanking you for another day, Lord. We're always being there for us when we call upon you, Lord. 
Lord, I ask you to be with our YouTube family, Lord Jesus, whatever their need may be, Lord. Lord, I ask you to touch our nation, Lord, and touch Israel, Lord. Lord, in your mighty name, Lord Jesus, we know that you're getting ready to come, Lord. Help us to stand strong and firm in your faith, Lord Jesus, knowing, Lord, that one day we'll be with you, Lord, where there'll be no trouble, no heartaches, uh, just love, joy, and peace, Lord. Uh, Lord, I ask you to help us to always be firmly planted in you, Lord, unmovable, Lord, in your mighty name I pray, Lord. And Lord, wrap your arms around our YouTube family, Lord, everyone that needs a special touch from you, Lord, whether it's their eyesight, whether they're having surgery, Lord, whether they're having financial problems, Lord, whatever it may be, Lord, we just ask you to meet their need, Lord. Lord, and all you ask is for us to believe, Lord. If we believe and know that you're moving, Lord, it will be. Lord, I just thank you and praise you. Have your way this day, Lord, in all of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God be with y'all. Trust in him. Know that he'll move for you when you call upon him. We love you. And this is all for this one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. God bless you because God is good to us. Amen. That's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are still watching, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Share us to Facebook. Check out the merch shop. The link is in the description of this channel. Yep. And that's our junkyard salad. Yeah. We love y'all and God bless y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. For any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. It's like a laminated it. almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube it started with my chickens, and it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss, and me and Corey, and this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me, and there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer, and uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church, and uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey, and uh, then the rest of it here. Uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's it uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here, and, and it uh, shows the main dishes, and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But, uh. Yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the, can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's, from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. Box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you, but you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. 
And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then, and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you wanna send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your uh, address in the order whenever you send the money through Cash App or PayPal, you could put your address there and we'll send it out. I'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it.